welcome back if you all are new here welcome to the channel today i'm going to be showing you guys the best drugstore bronzers for darker skin that are brown girl friendly this is just strictly drugstore bronzers well it's a few that i have to explain but other than that everything is a drugstore bronzer first product that i want to mention is from black radiant i am wearing this today i have the color espresso it's the perfect color you only need a little bit like i said i do have it on today i have it on as a base and that's what it looks like this is the sun and done smooth gliding bronzer stick this is fairly new i think it came out this year I th yeah i hauled it to you guys um i have the color coco coco coast i know this is not drugstore but ota is sold at target and Ota has Morphe in it. So you can get Morphe at Target. I like this. I have used this several times. This is another product that I like to use as a base. Now this one is a little bit more on the cocoa, like chocolate, like deep chocolate side versus the Black Radiance that I just showed you guys. That one was a little bit warmer. This one is definitely giving more of a contour shade. So the last cream bronzer that I wanted to mention is from Milani. This is their Cheek Kiss Cream Bronzer and this is in the color Mocha Moments. Now they have two deeper shades. This is the one that I prefer. This one reminds me of the Morphe one that I just swatched for you guys. It's the same kind of vibe. It's really nice and deep. And I prefer to use this as a contour and then put my bronzer on top of it. You're probably wondering why I didn't mention the e.l.f. putty bronzers. Those are cream bronzers. I didn't mention those because I don't like them. I tried to work with them several times. I could not get any pigmentation. I don't know if I had some bad ones. I just couldn't get any pigmentations. I tried them over and over. I kept them in my collection. I gave them away. I just, I, I don't know. Maybe I'll try it again in the future. And I just feel like I had three shades and I just couldn't get with it. The e.l.f. putty bronzers are an option as well if you want to go ahead and try them. But they just didn't work for me. We're moving into the powder bronzers. Yeah, I prefer powder over cream to be honest. It's actually not a bronzer. It is a pressed powder. But this has been used as a bronzer like back in the day. Like a bronzer more like a contour i guess this is from black radiance and this is their pressed powder in rich mahogany and that's how i got put on to this powder from youtube and um, a lot of girls will use this to bronze or um to contour now that i kind of look at it it is kind of light so you're going to use all the things that the beauty gurus recommend or whatever but this was my shade honey i haven't reached for it in a long time because you know over time i got more bronzers but this is pretty good if you are a beginner and if you are lighter than me this would definitely work for you as well and then i discovered a new shade this is in the color black coffee I have mentioned this on my channel before plenty of times. I have two bronzer, I think I have two or three bronzer videos. I will leave those linked down below that I did like a couple years ago. If you guys want to check it out after this video. I know for sure I mentioned this. I used to use this all the time. Listen, rich mahogany is cool, but black coffee anything with coffee in it i'm here for it this one is more rich in color oh my god it's so pretty like the ca the camera is not doing it justice it is not focusing like a dark warm brown kind of color dark warm brown that's what it is listen i will put on my regular bronzer just like a regular soft bronzer and then if i want that snatch look i will add this right just right up in here that's all i need if you don't get nothing else baby get this get black coffee i might bring it back out for my shop my stash i freaking love the shade it's also great as a brown eyeshadow but yes i've mentioned this plenty of times on my channel before like a few years ago but like i said i've you you know more and more bronzers come out and you kind of push your you know oldie but goodies to the back and I, I do miss this because i just i just remember what it did to my makeup look like it just really snatched it so black coffee from black radiance 
Yes, ma'am. This is kind of sad. Beauty Bakery. I saw that they were closing. I need to go get some backups. Beauty Bakery Bite Size Snackaroon um, Bronzer in the color Perfect Blend. But this bronzer is really, really good. So I recommend for you guys to get your hands on the bronzer before it sells out. I need to go to Target because I don't want to. I want to back up. I'm sorry. This is another bronzer that is rich in color. Now, this bronzer is more on the plummy brown side. It's more like a plum brown, giving contour at the same time. I just love that purpley undertone that this bronzer has. So, I don't have anything like this in my collection. Just get it while you can, while it's still at Target. This is the Hard Candy bronzer in the color Cocoa. It is used and abused, honey. It is used and abused. I love this bronzer. This bronzer is such a nice everyday bronzer. It's a lightweight. Sadly, this is the, the deepest shade far as I know. They don't have a lot of shades. When I picked this up from Walmart, they didn't have a lot of shades at the time. It's just a natural. It says natural. Natural powder bronzer. And that's exactly what it is perfect for every day so i highly recommend this if you see it at walmart we have the covergirl true blend high pigmented bronzer in the color ebony now y'all know how covergirl be playing with with this bronzer with the ebony bronzer okay um it took them a long time to come out with with this bronzer i know i never tried the one from the queen collection this is the old packaging this is the covergirl full spectrum full spectrum uh, bronzer in ebony this was perfect. I don't know why they felt the need. I'm, I'm almost hip hand. I stopped using it once I saw that they got rid of it. I don't know why they did that. This was so perfect. It was the perfect drugstore bronzer. Got rid of it. I hate that I didn't get a chance to get a backup. They decided to add the bronzer to the True Blend collection. Once they did that, the color is... I feel like it's not as rich anymore. This one looks way more, like you can even tell, like it looks, it's more, it's deeper. Why did you mess this up, cover girl? You should have left it alone. It's the same color, but it's underneath the True Blend collection. Besides all of that, this is still, it's still a beautiful shade. This is the new one, this is the old one. So, I mean, these are only swatches, but when you put it on your face, it's, to it's a total difference. You can see that the old one is a little bit darker than the new one. Besides that, this is still a good bronzer. I do recommend it. They do need more shades, like, because it's not a bad formula. So, you need more shades. I think they would really do themselves justice if they make more shades. We have the Juvia's Place bronzer in dark. You can purchase the Juvia's Place bronzers at Target in the Ulta section. So I have a dark right here. Y'all know the Juvia's Place bronzers are hits. Everybody use these. Everybody and their mama use the Juvia's Place bronzers. And this is what I like. I like the deep dark. I like the deep dark one perfect i mix the two together or i use them by themselves i've been loving this as an eyeshadow lately the l'oreal infallible 24 hour fresh wear bronzer and i have the color dark y'all when these came out i jump on them this is the dark shade perfect for every day these bronzers are so nice there's nothing bad that i can say about them this is another natural bronzer that can be used for every day um i have the color deep dark and of course this is going to give you more of a contour look this is perfect for contour or if you have deeper skin perfect i have the nyx butter melts bronzers when these came out a lot of people were like well it's given blush it it very much looked like a blush and I did a try on video like a first impression I will leave a link down below so you guys can watch it they kind of missed the mark for me though like I like these that's why I'm mentioning these I think they're really good but they missed the mark with the girls that want to use actually use the bronzer you know what I mean this you can't put it all over your face it's red it's red it's extremely it's like a warm red i think they were trying to go for more of like a sun burnt bronzy look and i get it but we also wanted something that we could just 
not have to think about when I put on my bronzer let's just say this is my bronzer brush I want to do this I want to do that I can't do that with this because it's red you gotta you gotta be careful so that's what missed the mark for me and a lot of people a lot of people probably passed on it but I do recommend it as a bronzer blush these are good to use as the gradient effect that I was just talking about or the ombre effect and that's what I've been using this for y'all this is the perfect topper perfect topper to put on top of your bronzer you can't just put this on your face all willy-nilly you got to be careful this one is called butter days I've been using this like crazy you see what I'm saying like I can't bronze with that I cannot bronze with that but right here on my cheeks when I put it on top of my bronzer in my cheeks it just brings the whole entire look together and it's perfect for that don't you put this all over your face you're gonna be looking crazy I'm telling I'm gonna be doing my go-to makeup look so you guys can see how it is I'm gonna film that look so you guys can see what it looks like this one is a little bit more deeper now I was excited for this and this one is the butter than you so with these bronzers, you just have to mix them with your original bronzers. You cannot bronze your face with this. That's just the, that's just what it is. It's not a bronzer, at least for me. You're going to be looking, I'm sorry. I just feel like you're going to be looking crazy. You're going to be looking red. Just apply it very lightly. It's actually beautiful, but I feel like they missed the mark with, you know, allowing us to use it as a regular bronzer because they decided to go more, of so they decided to just make it red to be honest I have the new elf primer infused matte bronzers and that's what i have on today elf done did something here these are good i don't know why they think that they were not going to be good because the the blushes are good the formula on that is pretty good at least the colors that i can wear i have it on today like i said i have on a black radiance as a base and then i start off with the color desert sun this one is a little bit more deeper if you're my skin complexion this is the color that you want to get if you just want one this is the color you want to get and this bronze my face gives off a natural look as you guys can see the color sun soak is just like the nyx of butter melts bronzers because it's red it's warm it is it, it, it damn near look like a dupe it, it just it looks like the NYX right so I've been using that as a gradient effect and I do have it on today these recently came out a couple weeks ago these are fairly new so make sure you get your hands on it I don't know if they're inside the store I ordered mine online immediately because I figured that these shades were going to sell out so I hope you guys can get your hands on it if you haven't already. Those are all of the bronzers that I wanted to mention from the drugstore. I hope you guys found one or two that you guys are interested in. I know there are other brands or other alternatives at the drugstore that you can use. ColourPop is at Target now. I think they sell bronzers. I didn't mention those because I don't really grab those that much. Definitely um, chime in in the comment section and let me know if I missed out on a bronzer, if I miss anything from the drugstore that is really good definitely let me know i would love to try and i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you're going to purchase any of the ones that i mentioned and i will talk to you guys in a new video bye